everyone, welcome back to my channel, an Axtell Retiree. And today I have a really comfy haul, and it's all from Amazon, and it's all about sweatshirts. Yes, comfy sweatshirts. This is not going to be just a sweatshirt haul. I am going to be adding some other unique items in this haul, and I'm going to have a little critique on how companies size items. So stay tuned. Well, this winter I purchased a beige sweatshirt that you've seen me wear in lots of videos. And I think I lived in that. I it's gone in the wash at least once a week. Some days I wear it some weeks. If I don't get it dirty, I wear it a couple days in a row. It's so comfy and cozy. So I thought, well, if that's comfy and cozy and I love it, I should get other sweatshirts in colors that I don't have and would probably like. So I did a mini sweatshirt haul, and we'll see if I like these. So the first one I have is this. And it's in black and I don't have a black sweatshirt, so I think I'll enjoy this. I almost got it in navy. I probably will get one in navy eventually, but not yet. <laughs> so, that's my black sweatshirt. Then I got getting rid of one that was partially camo that I wore quite a bit and I didn't like it because I got a lot of hair on the black and so I may not like this black sweatshirt because of that because I have cats but we'll see and I got a camo just totally camo sweatshirt so I think I'll like that Finally, my third sweatshirt for this haul, like I said, it's a mini haul. I got this. Gray sweatshirt. And I bet I'm gonna really like this because it's so nice and neutral and it's a heathered gray, like my heathered beige oatmeal heather sweatshirt and I think I'll like that. And is it soft on the inside? It isn't as soft on the inside as the other two, which are exactly like the one that I love so much. This one is thinner, so that's kind of a downside. So this is going to be like a couple of other ones that I have, but I do like the color, so, and it's getting close to spring, so this will probably do me very well for cooler days in summer and through this springtime that's coming. So, I don't have much news here today. I just uh, thought I would just do this little tiny mini haul and it's a very, very short one today and maybe I'll put it up the same week that I do the brown haul because when I was getting ready for this haul, I found this one and I'm debating whether I should do this try on and then put it in the brown haul or just tag it into this one. I think I'm going to tag this one into this one. Why not? So, you know, I'll have unboxed this. I'll put this kind of insert it. It has like this little stuff on the end, which I thought was like a woodland nymph. And so I am um, going to delete the other video that I did just before I was going to add to the other one. And I'm just going to keep this in this. And because of that, I'm going to make this more of a haul, mainly sweatshirt haul. But here we come. It's a recap of the brown. Here we come with this really crazy outfit that I got that was suggested for clubbing. Now, I am hoping to do some true crime videos, so I'm going to 
add costumery to it. Um, like if it's set in the 1800s, I'm gonna to try to dress like that as I tell the story. Um, so I'm gonna to try to do kind of something to set the ambiance of historical murder cases that I go through. But now this one, you know, if I do something more modern and it takes place in a club, I can do this. I don't know. So I was kind of thinking about that, but I think I'm just going to wear it because it's just kind of sassy and crazy and I don't know. But it was supposed to be for clubbing, it said. I don't think I'm ever going to wear this outside the house, but we'll see. <laughs> it's crazy. It is a two-piece number from Amazon with this crazy newsprint that says, uh, News CVVS, Brawn of AC Era. They would have compartment bowl prop, which it's like lots of misspelled words or I don't know. On to the try on. Well, first up is my black sweatshirt, which is like enough to fit two of me. I've got a three X way too roomy, but it'll probably shrink. <laughs> and it's nice to have something kind of loose. So that's good. I like it. It'll work. It's just very roomy. It's not as roomy, but it'll be great if it shrinks and they usually do. And it's comfy. Perfect. <laughs> and this one is tighter in the arms, but it has a stretchy quality to it. So it's going to work okay. But that's the difference. Three X's, all of them, same place, Amazon. Totally different. Different companies, different sizes, different sizing. Ugh. Drives you crazy, you know? Tight piece, and it's nice. I think I'd wear a brown or darker bra underneath it. It's a little, a little on the see-through side, but it's not bad. Like I say, different underwear underneath, but it is perfectly fine and is about like I expected it to be. So good on this. Staying true to how different sizes are. Did not fit. Can't even get it buttoned, and it's still a three. I think I went way up on size. So, ah. Uh, I will give it to my daughter or one of her friends who actually do go out clubbing once in a while. It might be up their alley, so. That is where that's going, not on me. So, it was fun, worth a try, but <laughs> I couldn't even show you it. Oh, well. <laughs> ah. you figure out your size. and Really exhausting when you go out into the world and it's like this because Someone like me who has veneers, oh my goodness, to find nothing and go out there and try this on. Ah, no thank you. <laughs> so, at least once in a while I get things that kind of fit and are really great. I get a lot of use out of them and I enjoy them this way. But, ay ay. Yeah. <laughs> it fun. doesn't matter. This is true for anyone, any size. It's always the same. Oh well. If I demonstrated or said anything in this video, it is pointing out there just aren't standard sizing between companies. We live in a global community, a global market. We shop a world wide web. And really most of these came from one source, Amazon. But they grab things from all over the world. You know, we need to have standardized standardized sizing. It just needs to be. If you're going to sell to the U.S. market, the sizes need to accommodate our bodies. And I don't think we're that different than the rest of the world. I bet the rest of the world has these issues. So please, work on a standard norm. And it isn't a big technological fix. It's strictly measurements, strictly measurements. And then pass them on.
to those of us who are consumers. You could see clearly some of the articles are pretty standard, but some companies do not hold those standards. So let's work on that. We have a problem with textiles getting into our landfill and they don't, they don't degrade well and it hurts the environment. And this kind of thing contributes to that. So, you know, I'll make sure that my things are upcycled. Um, I can use the material as material and articles that I might make or something, or I'll give them to other people, but not everybody does that. And eventually you donate and some of these things end up in landfills or you send them back and they end up in landfills. So it's really, really important to have standardized sizing so that your consumers are happy when they get the product initially so that they get somewhere so they don't go directly to the landfill. Instead, people are using them. And isn't that what you really want to do? Isn't that the kind of pride you want to take in your work, no matter where you are, no matter how wealthy you are? If you're at, at the up of the chain, don't you want people like me to be happy? Isn't that really what you want? Isn't that what your soul wants? Just think about it. Anyway, enough of my rant. If you like this video, please Put a thumbs up and do um, come back to my channel, An Accidental T Retiree. I am a variety channel. You never know what you're going to get <laughs> from me. <laughs> you never will know. But you're going to see a little bit more of what I gave at the end where I have an opinion that I'm putting forth um, from here on out. Um, I didn't want to, you know, show my all right away, but now you did see me. <laughs> anyway, like I said, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. <laughs> Bye for now and God bless. See you soon.